Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of AI, wondering how AI can make life easier or curious about ChatGPT. You're in the right place. We will explore five awesome ways to use ChatGPT and AI to boost productivity, spark creativity, and have some fun. So sit back, relax, and let's get started with our first tip. First, let's see how AI can save you time in your email inbox. We all spend too much time there, right? Here I am with a full inbox, and this is where AI shines. It can summarize messages and even help craft responses, making you more efficient. At the top of my inbox, I have an email from NG, my manager. She's inviting me to a team dinner to celebrate our recent achievements and is asking for votes on the restaurant. She also compliments me for being the top achiever on the team. First, let's copy the entire email and open ChatGPT. I'll ask ChatGPT if it can help me reply to this email. And as you can see, it's really willing to help. And as you can see, it says, uh, please provide the details of the email you received and let me know what kind of response you would like to send. I will say, reply. With thanks to my manager, NG, for arranging this opportunity for us as a team to gather for a nice dinner, I would like to inform her that my choice would be Subhi Kabir as it is my favorite restaurant. I also want to express my happiness with our achievements over the last month and hope we continue on this path to even greater accomplishment. I will also provide ChatGPT with the original email. Hit enter and boom, ChatGPT is doing a great job. If you don't like the first draft, you can simply ask ChatGPT to try again. I'm satisfied with this one, so I will copy and send it to NG. Thanks, ChatGPT. The next thing you can do with ChatGPT is learn a new language for free. I started learning German two years ago, but if I were to start learning German in 2024, I would definitely use ChatGPT. I would, for example, ask ChatGPT the following. Write me a simple conversation between two Germans meeting for the first time. And as you can see, ChatGPT is doing a great job. Then I will ask ChatGPT to explain to me the grammatical rules within this conversation. And there you go. It will start explaining every single expression and translate it into your language. I can also ask ChatGPT to test my knowledge. It will provide me with multiple choice questions and also correct my answers, providing explanations for why they are or are not correct. Ich bin Lehrer, is that correct, ChatGPT? Awesome. You can also write something in the language you are learning and get ChatGPT to correct your sentence and teach you how to speak correctly. It's a very effective way to learn a language as you get to study only the things you are interested in. You can utilize AI to analyze data, and it performs remarkably well. I have this sample sales sheet here. Back to ChatGPT below, there's a paperclip icon where you can upload files into ChatGPT for AI analysis. Clicking on this icon allows you to import data from OneDrive, Google Drive, or directly from your computer. Upon clicking, a file picker opens. I have an Excel file right here that I would like the AI to help me analyze. This functionality works with Excel files, Google Sheets, or CSV files. Now it's been uploaded successfully, I can ask ChatGPT different questions about it. For example, I will ask ChatGPT, how many units did we sale in 2022? And as you can see, very accurate. You can also analyze text and images. For example, a Word document, PDF, a text file, or even a PNG. One of my favorite examples. Imagine you're a student in school. You can upload your textbook and then ask questions about it. Let's take a look. Here I am back in ChatGPT, and let's say you're in an English class and currently reading the book Hamlet, a play by Shakespeare. Down below, I'll click on the paperclip icon and you can upload the book from your computer. Now, this book is currently in the public domain. Right over here, 
I have the text for this entire play. I'll click on that and it's now uploaded directly into ChatGPT. The really neat thing is that I can ask questions directly about this play. For example, let's say I want to know if Hamlet and Ophelia had sex. Over here, let's send it to the AI. Look at that. It analyzed all the text and comes back to tell us that there are different theories about that. Now imagine using this with your chemistry textbook, your biology textbook, or maybe an annual report from a company. You could ask all sorts of questions about that text. You can also use this for things like contracts. Upload a PDF contract and then ask questions about it. Like, should I be concerned about any of these clauses? If you're going to upload a document to ask questions about it, you can turn it into what's called a custom GPT. One of my favorite uses for ChatGPT is generating content. I use it constantly. For instance, I can ask ChatGPT to craft an article on overcoming procrastination. And as you can see, it comes up with brilliant ideas. I can also ask ChatGPT, design a four day a week workout plan. It can even write a chilling, scary story. Essentially, you can create almost anything with ChatGPT, and it's not plagiarism at all. This means it's not just copying and pasting from the internet. Instead, it generates content with its own unique style and vocabulary. And there you have it, five fantastic ways to use ChatGPT. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.